There are two verses in the Bible written by the same author that on the surface seem to be total contradictions of each other. Here they are. John 3, 16, which you probably know. For God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son, that whoever would believe in him would not perish, but have eternal life. But have you heard 1 John chapter 2, verse 15? It says, do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Now, if you just take those two verses and put them side by side, they appear to be saying the exact opposite thing. One, that God loved the world. He loved it so much he sent his son. And on the other one, it, it seems to say that we are to hate the world. And if we love the world, God's love can't be in us. So what is going on with these verses and how does it impact our life? Well, the word world as it's used in these two verses is important and it's different. In John 3.16, it is referring to the people of the world. You can read it just like that. For God so loved all the people in the world that he sent his one and only son. And in 1 John chapter 2, the word, the word world is used to describe the culture of the world or more specifically, the value system. So you can read it like this. Do not love the value system of the world. The, its ethics, its status, its selfishness, um, the immorality, the me first mentality, greed. Um, all those all those value systems that you see in the world that's what you are to hate so the scripture is telling us that we are to love the people of the world but hate the value system of the world now here's the problem many of us including Christians and I would say even especially Christians we get that reversed we cling to and embrace and sometimes love the value system of the world but we hate the people in the world that are different than us, the people that think different. And we can't get those reversed. We can't get those wrong. We must follow that example of Jesus by loving people, but hating the things that they did that tore themselves down or tore other people down. Uh, some people say you have to love the sinner, but hate the sin. This is what these two verses are saying, that we are to love people, but hate the value system of the world. Now, how does this affect you today on a daily basis? Well. If you've ever struggled to know what kind of decision to make, or if you ever regret decisions that you've made, one of the reasons could be that you are too closely aligned with the value system of the world. You've embraced the value system of the world that says, just do what makes you happy, follow your heart, um, just, just do you, look out for number one. If you've, if you've embraced the value system of the world, it will confuse your thinking, it will cloud out God's voice, and it will lead to some decisions that you will regret. So check out uh, these words from Paul that he wrote uh, to the Romans uh, living in Rome, the Christian church in Rome. He said, do not copy the behavior and customs of this world, but let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will learn to know God's will for you, which is good and pleasing and perfect. So the way to know what God wants you to do is to refuse to embrace the value system of the world and embrace the value system of God. We'll look at what that looks like tomorrow. But for today, love the world, love the people in it, but hate its value system because it's wrecking the world and wrecking the people in it. Have a great day.